What's up you guys, it's Ness, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to create a mood board. Now it may sound simple at first, but actually a lot of people don't know how to use a mood board, or when you should use a mood board, or why you should use a mood board. So this is that video. So basically a mood board is used to just gain and give direction for the photo shoot to the model and the makeup artist. And this can make all the difference between having a great photo shoot and a bad photo shoot because with no direction, you can't really execute how you want to execute. Me personally, I don't really use my mood boards on paid photo shoots as me personally, I don't really use my mood boards on paid photo shoots unless the client really like Me personally, I don't really use mood boards on paid clients because they already know what they want. I mainly use mood boards on my collaborative shoots because those are the ones where my creativity can really shine and we can all just build on ideas. And as far as when you choose a mood board, I'm not gonna lie, you should always use a mood board. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, but mood boards will always put you in the right direction and it'll just make your job a lot easier. So without further ado, let's get into it. Wait a lot, before we get into it, the three apps that I use for my mood boards are Instagram, because that's where everybody posts their pictures. Pinterest, because there's a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. There's tons of photos you can build from and you can create categories and share from Pinterest. And finally, layout from Instagram. So without further ado, let's like really get into it. I'm gonna bring my screen up over here, so. So first and foremost, we're gonna go to Instagram and I'm already pulled up one of the models. Uh, this is actually Gabby. I've shot her before. She's a really gorgeous model. Go ahead and follow her. So what I do is I just go on, um, you know, the models page and I click on one of the pictures and then I just scroll and then when I find something I like, I'll screenshot it. Typically I look like I look for like a natural picture of the model so that way we know what they look like with like without being all dolled up or glammed up. So this is the image I'm going to go with and now we're going to move to our next app. So now we're going to move over to Pinterest. And since I'm primarily a beauty photographer, I am going to type in beauty photography. Boom, right? So then a bunch of pictures have come up and based on the picture that I've selected of Gabby and just looking at her facial structure, uh, structure and stuff like that and her skin tone, I'm just gonna pick like warmer things that I like. I would wanna like do with her or I would want to like incorporate in our shoot. So I like this picture of the flowers. Um, we might do something with flowers. Um, I love this. It's like really nude. Oh, I love this. It's dope. You know what I'm saying? You can just do this for days. Um, and then it gives, like I said, this gives the makeup artist like a clear, concise vision of what you're willing to do or looking to do uh, with the model and the direction you're willing to go. So like I said, you can just go on Pinterest and type in whatever you need. And, you know, more times than not, you're going to find exactly what you're looking for. So I love this. Your mood board typically will consist of like tones and stuff like that, but right now I'm just looking for the vibe that I'm, you know what I'm saying? The makeup, the vibe, and just like, Gabby has a very natural look, so that's what I wanna go for. I don't wanna do anything too editorial or too over the top. So now that I have a couple pictures of what I'm looking to do, um, I'm gonna go over to the next app, which is Layout, and I'm gonna click on my recents. Oh, not my recents, I lied. Let's go to all photos. So now I'll take the picture of Gabby. I'll take the picture, well, let's get this one. That's more cropped in and I'll get the pictures that I chose and I'll pick one of the layouts and sometimes you might have too many photos so you can always just like get rid of one so let's get rid of this pink one and now yeah I'll use this one right here so this is a perfect example of a layout and I just want to position everything so the, so the model and the makeup artist can see what you're looking to do and once you do that you just press save done and then yeah you just pretty much go to your camera roll and there it is that's pretty much it boom done simple right so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed it's really simple really easy go ahead and give gabby a follow uh she's really dope really down to earth she loves anime just like i do finessing shots out keep finessing those shots and pull out of gang shit you gotta be right to fill yourself <laughs>